hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the effects which is the noisy and the rustic type which is really good and trendy and creative for your color grading of the photography so let's start the tutorial if you're new in the channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so here is the image i downloaded this one from internet and i'll provide you that download link in my video description for your practice purpose at first press ctrl or command j you are getting a new layer of these that means you are getting the copy of this after that going to the filter and then camera filter this one is another plugins of the photoshop and you can update your plugins by using camera 13.0.2 if you want you can get the link in my video description from here i will going to the load settings options i made a preset for you guys and i will provide you that preset download link in my video description and uh, that is really good uh, when i was using that and uh, when i was making this one so this one what is here the settings let's see here the temperature and the tint that is zero that means uh, here the temperature tint here i made the highlight 59 minus 59 that means in a plus value you are getting this type of highlight but i made it minus value that is minus 59 so you are getting these type of things which is really nice and then the shadow zero white zero and black zero here is the options to change your settings according to your photography i am using this example image these images lights and the proper uh, like shadow not according to your photography that means not similar to your photography so you have to change these settings you may have to uh, change these settings according to your photography lights and shadow this is the technique to use the uh, like uh, raw filters or the uh, psd that means the xmp files which is uh, uh, we know that the presets here the texture that is plus 65 i made the texture more up just because of making it too much uh, like a uh, noisy and the textured things which is really uh, helpful to get the new tone over here the dehaze option that is 15 and here vibrance that is 12 here is the curves option here input value of the curve 255 and output value 250 over here you are getting the input value 182 and output value 182 input value in this point you are getting uh, 65 and output 58 here input value 1 and output value 2 that's nice and detail options here the noise reduction and uh, here the noise which is the color noise 13 and uh, after getting that here is the color mixture here is the saturation i made the saturation red plus 39 and luminance minus 14 and no change of hues okay the color grading let's go to the color grading here is the shadow color here is the gimmick to use this type of things and here 217 which is the value sometimes you, you know, will get this type of things and uh, the triangle is the left side just make it into downside of the uh, edge uh, and here that is uh, 217 that is the value that is the hue value if i change the hue your photo will change and you will get a new tone but i made here 217 which is the uh, tone uh, you are getting in this uh, photo filters or the effects here the saturation 20 you can change it out and you can blend it out according to your preferences over here uh, the mid tone the less highlighting area called the mid tone here getting the tone that is 88 and the saturation 8 and here the highlight that is 164 actually 46 the hue and the saturation 10 the main thing is that the color grading you are getting three tones which is the shadow highlight and mid tone which color you want to provide in that three tones that is the color grading main basic things okay fine after that going to the optics uh, didn't use that geometry didn't use that effects from here i added some grain which is the 13 percent and size 25 and the roughness which is 50 that's fine and the calibration i made it a uh, little bit changes like hue 13 for the red primary and the saturation minus 13 and u over here 17 and uh, the u minus 6 which is really good and easiest way to i made this one like noisy effect and hit okay so let's try this one into another photo 
so going to the file and like uh, open it up open a new image uh, from here i downloaded a couple of images from the internet i'll provide the download link here is another images which is really nice the studio portrait press ctrl or command j and then going to the filter again and camera of filter after that over here load settings options from here the noisy portrait and you are getting the portrait amazing and uh, i do love that which is the rough tone uh, if you want the retro noisy uh, like uh, the vintage whatever you can call and uh, really nice and i do like that okay after that we can apply this one into another types of photos um, like this type of photo okay totally different types press ctrl or command j that is not in a indoor portrait that is the outdoor portrait in a snow type area in a winter season going to the filter and then camera filter let's apply this one and let's see what is happening after applying this preset over here going to the noisy yeah you are getting like this and really really nice and in this case i'm just uh, getting over here here you can change the white value it will be more nice to do that and hit okay yeah that's fine the before and after let's try another one going to the open options here is another portrait um, yeah this one is the image and press ctrl or command j and then going to the filter and and camera filter and going to the load settings options from here noisy portrait yeah that's fine and in this portion i'll add this type of things okay the warm tone and hit okay so here uh, was this image the before one and after one after applying that going to the filter again and nick collection color effects pro this one is another filter or the plugins for the photoshop and lightroom as well and uh, you can use um, uh, many kind of uh, filters from here which is really good cross processing is another one and lots of uh, sub method over here i'll use this sub method method and which is really the golden tone and i'll making it a little bit down for the strength options and shadow and highlights and here is the opacity portion you can change it out according to your preferences and hit okay main one the before one was like that and after one you're getting like this so i am providing this preset to you now don't forget to give the credit line just because of you are using this one from me and that is a free of cost so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with a friend and if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video stay very very safe and uh, like healthy and well keep me in your prayers as well bye bye